today I am doing a spring chatty tutorial so let's chat about all things I have actually gained some weight and all my pants are so tight right now I need to buy a whole new wardrobe because I've never been a size 10 that is really annoying and I hate buying basic stuff because I always want to spend my money on the cute little unique stuff <sighs> I'm annoyed but it's fine I tried my summer clothes and not one of my pants fit and all my dresses were really really hard to put on and didn't look cute so I had a meltdown because I had nothing to dress you know as you do that was the Illamasqua Beyond Veil Primer and today we're going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation and this is the normal to dry version I've done a tutorial with this on Instagram but I used to use this foundation it was actually my first foundation that ever matched me that I've used in the oily uh, version oily skin version because you know when I started using it my skin was pretty oily oily combination and this is normal to dry skin which I find so much better right now I still love it it's just like a classic foundation I'm also using the Sunday Avi from uh, Michael Freiber's sponge and this is one of those like fuzzy sponges and um, I've been using this for my base for now because it is so much better building up the foundation and having a really great coverage this is a, a medium to high coverage foundation I'd say I'm going to Portugal and uh, I'm actually excited to go because I'm gonna go to my psychiatrist which I haven't gone in a while this is the Herborian CC Eye Cream and this is the shade Claire, I think. Yeah, you can use this on its own, but if I'm doing a full face with a lot of coverage on my base, I usually prefer to kind of use this as a base and then just use a higher, higher coverage concealer just to kind of even it all out. But yeah, I'm going to Portugal, gonna see about my medication, my prescription. Um, we had talked about before of me being on medication for like a year and that has uh, almost come to an end so I'm now gonna see if we're continuing to do for a little bit more or if we're starting to get me off the medication or whatever is gonna happen. I'm really nervous about it because I'm excited but I'm nervous about it because I'm not sure I'm ready to go off the medication and I will definitely let him know that. Um, this is the Colourpop Concealer and this is the shade Fair 2. I don't know, I don't want to jump the boat like I, like I did last time just to have it all come back to the same place. And so, um, if possible, I think I'm gonna keep on taking the medication for a while. Mainly the acne, I still feel like, much to my disappointment, um, has a great effect on my mental health and on my overall mood um, this is the NYX can't stop one stop concealer this is the shade alabaster I want to be a person that does not let herself define by outward looks I really want to be that person I fight for it I champion for you know acne and any type of um, unconventional characteristics for them not to be the thing that defines you sort of but at the same time I'm very painfully aware that while I have come so far in it whereas I already show myself without makeup which before for me would be unheard of and I already sort of do stories without makeup which before I used to put filters on me and everything like that and so even though I am more comfortable showing off my acne I'm also painfully aware that I do feel better when my skin is clear and it's sad because I don't want to feel like that but at the same time it's something that I'm not sure I know how to control is when you see like someone else with acne and you're championing for um, the normalization of skin issues and you're like you go girl and you definitely think they're really gorgeous but when you look at yourself in the mirror you still have a horrible self-loathing instinct of Ew. and um, hopefully not most of you won't feel that but I I know that I still feel that even though 
I am so against it. And also having to cover everything because to do a perfect base, my acne is so pigmented that I have to spend loads of time just covering it up to then do like just a regular ass makeup. I'm just gonna use the Bare Minerals Gen Nude uh, eyeshadow primer. I'm babbling. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm hopefully coming across a little bit clearer than I am sounding. But it's just something that I've not conquered yet and I hopefully will conquer in the future. But not having found the acne solution, I just don't feel like I'm stable enough to go off my meds. That's all I'm saying basically. This is the Milk Makeup Powder and this is the Blur and Set Powder, which I really like. I don't think I'm gonna go on a summer like beachy vacation, sadly, which is also doing my head in. My sister is actually coming for an internship here in London and she is gonna be staying here for like two months and because of that, obviously, we have to be here with her. So um, that's gonna be really exciting though. Um, it's a good compromise for not getting to go on vacation is that she's gonna be here for two full months and I'm so excited. I'm gonna do a really soft makeup today and so soft, I mean pastely soft. And so I'm gonna be using the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil and this is the shade Taupe. I've used this in my full face of ColourPop, as you guys know, and I really, really enjoyed it for like a light brow situation. Because I'm not vacationing, we're planning to do loads of like weekends in England, visiting more of the country. I've not done enough of it, to be honest. Yeah, let me know of places around in England where you could go for like a weekend. I also wanna go to the beach, definitely. Like, even if I'm staying in London, I don't care. I still need the beach. So I need you to tell me what are the best beaches in England. And I'm aware that me being from Portugal, I have to keep my expectations low. And that's fine. But I just wanna like a nice beach with sand, not pebbles. Something you can lay on, <laughs> like, is that a thing? I think it's a thing. Okay, so on my eyes today, I'm gonna be starting by using the Huda Beauty Topaz Obsessions palette, which is the orangey one to this one. So for the first time in my history, since I was born, and then I'm gonna go into this little bright one. I'm not gonna go on summer vacation to the south of Portugal with my family. My grandpa has an apartment there and so we usually go there for like one or two weeks out of the year. And now I'm gonna be using um, two ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. Uh, first I'm gonna be using I Like You, which is this shade. Pastely orange with a pinky hue. But then I'm also gonna go with the Fenty Beauty uh, Mimosa Sunrise Kilowatt Foil. Let's go on top of it and give it an extra pop. That is so pretty, oh my god. And then finally I'm gonna go with Bow Wow, which is one of those um, products from ColourPop that is in collaboration with NKLA. And so the proceeds go to a puppy and cat shelter, if I'm not mistaken. There's also a cat shadow. Okay, this is gonna go on my inner corner. And this is kind of such a beautiful color, it's such a peachy gold. Um, I use this uh, a lot and I took it to my, on my ski vacation and I use this a lot, a lot. And to form my mascara today, I'm actually gonna be using a new one, which is the Nabla Major Pleasure Mascara. This is what it looks like. I haven't used it before. The lift and curl is actually quite nice. I do have a lot of gaps on my lashes at the moment. They are really shit, I don't know why. <laughs> I've been having shit lashes since um, last summer, actually. There was a period that was really good and then it just went right back to shit. So I'm doing this, uh, my little pinchy fingers, but it looks really good at, at the moment. I mean, my lashes again are pretty shit, but it looks good and it also went really well in the lower lashes. So we'll just have to see how this progresses throughout the day, I guess. I'm gonna do a bit of freckling now. First, I'm gonna go in with the Arla Ardell Brow, Le Brow Lebrity Pencil, which I actually really like for brows, but they're a little bit heavier than this ColourPop Duo, so that's why I'm not using them. Um, and I'm just gonna do, go do a little freckling, and this first kind of base layer, I wanted to go to the Slum Dunk Fest, and I don't think I'm gonna go this year either. I wanted to go last year, and I didn't get the chance to and 
I wanted to go this year, but honestly, I've bought so many tickets at the moment for other shows that I forgot about Slumdunk and now it's too late. <laughs> I'm gonna see the Vamps, which I'm really excited about because I've never seen them. Um, and yeah, I'm a dork, but I love them. And I'm also gonna see uh, the last podcast on the left live in September, which I'm so excited about because I've been so, so obsessed with their podcast. Like I've literally not been listening to anything else. Yeah, but I really, really wanted to go slam down because all time low are gonna be there who I've never seen live. And also water parks that I've never seen live, but bought a ticket once, but then was too depressed to go. And same goes for it as it is, bought a ticket for them and then was too depressed to go. <laughs> And I just feel sad that I don't get to see them yet again. I'm kind of in the size of if I should go for this, but I think this is too orange. So I'm gonna go instead for the Fenty Beauty uh, Match Sticks Chili Mango. The first time I reviewed this, I think I told you that they are extremely pigmented. I don't know why I just did this. And I do think they're long lasting, but because they're long lasting, the thing is that they're really hard sticks and so they're not really buttery and so when you apply it right to your cheeks what happens is you wash away a little bit of the coverage and because i need coverage that is slightly problematic to me so what i'm gonna try to do which i've never tried to do because i haven't used this since which is sad because i love this color um even this is a little bit too orange but you know what i mean apply a little bit to the beauty blender as such and try to blend that in and hopefully not wash away the coverage Okay, that's a little bit better, yes. And mixed with that, I'm also going to be using the Trippin' one, which is a little bit more, um, kind of looks like the Bow Wow shadow. And these are really cute. The Trippin' one could possibly be a highlighter, but for me, it would be sort of like a matte highlighter. And so I wouldn't use it necessarily as my sole highlighter because I like a little bit of dew. But anyway, on top of this, I'm also gonna try the new Fenty bronzer. And um, this is the lightest shade, it's called In The Sun. It isn't as gray as it looks on the pan. Obviously this is gonna be different worn on its own because I have so much going on. But I do love what it's doing at the moment. That was my dog, wiggling. I really love what's happening here. Go over that just a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. A lot of people use this for primer or before foundation. I feel like this is best worn on top of foundation for like just a really natural glow. It has no real shimmer to it or anything like that. It's just a dew. I think I have a lot going on and so I'm just gonna apply a gloss. I got sent these by NYX today and I'm gonna try this one, Fortune Cookie. These are the butter glosses. They smell freaking amazing. I think I'm gonna need a lip liner gel. Okay, so I'm gonna use my go-to, which is uh, ColourPop's Birdie. It's kind of like my lip shade, so it's just gonna define the line because I feel like with glosses, and especially nude glosses, it's really hard. Here goes Fortune Cookie. Just gonna mist that over with the Laura Geller Spackle Mist that you know I love. It's my favorite mist of all time. I hope you liked it. All the products, of course, will be listed down below. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything and what you want me to talk about in the next videos. I have a few planned that I think are gonna be good, including fashion videos, which again, I will have to do because I like food. Are you kidding me? I think this is not gonna stop, so I'm just gonna say goodbye. This alarm is zooming my head in. Oh, bitch. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to click the little bell button so you know every single time I'm uploading. And, oh, God, I hope you guys have a good day, and I love you, and see you in the next one. Bye.